What's going on, guys? We're back with another edition of The Prediction Method, and today's movie is the new take on a classic monster story, The Invisible Man, directed by Leia Wanell of Saw fame and starring Elizabeth Moss. As always, let's quickly run down our 10 plot points that we will be using from Blake Snyder's Save the Cat to predict our film. We've got opening image, theme stated, setup, catalyst, B story, fun and games, midpoint, the bad guys close in, break into three, and our finale. So with that out of the way, let's dive in. Our opening image will be of Cecilia's escape from Adrian's house that opens up the trailers. Theme stated will be the idea of freedom, specifically peace of mind for Cecilia as she struggles to finally be free of the clutches of abuse. Our setup will see Cecilia staying with what looks like a friend and his daughter. She'll also meet with the attorney who tells her she's getting $5 million provided she's not deemed mentally incompetent. Catalyst will be Cecilia getting her first taste of the invisible man haunting her, which starts to drive her over the edge. This is where we'll see her at the front door where we see his breath and the shower scene where we see his handprint on the glass. I'm not sure if there will really be a B story in this movie as it seems a very straight shot with her. But if there is one, it will tie into her friend that she's staying with and her daughter. Maybe something that will tie into the idea of abuse and when and how we identify and or neglect it in a woman's case. I don't know. Fun and games, if you even want to call it that in this movie will be us getting a few more scenes of the Invisible Man fucking with Cecilia as she starts to go crazy and put that $5 million in jeopardy as she begins to seriously unravel. We get that scene with her sharing a bed with the daughter and Adrian snaps pictures of her while she's sleeping. There's also the scene where she has lunch with her friend who assures her he's dead. The midpoint will be Cecilia visiting Adrian's home and finding it very much still being lived in and she finds the chamber that lets him be the Invisible Man. She'll barely make it out with her life and is now sounding totally crazy to her friends. She will make a big fuss. The cops will investigate it and find nothing at the house, which will really make her fall off the deep end. She has alienated all her friends and seems totally crazy. And it's here we'll get that crazy scene where he attacks her in the house. The he's sitting in that chair scene will lead into the paint reveal scene and then the subsequent attack on her in the house but she'll be saved by the police showing up because either the father or the daughter has called them. But they think she's gone off the deep end, and she is committed. Break Into 3 has Cecilia pleading her case in the psych ward and warning that he's in here and is going to get her. The finale will be the throwdown at the psych ward, where she is able to prove she isn't crazy as Adrian attacks, and she is finally able to free herself from his clutches by killing him. Those are my predictions. This is another week where I feel pretty good, The plot seems spot on as the trailer really gives away a lot, so I'm confident in the slowly going crazy leading to the psych ward finale. The theme stated I'm a little on the fence about. It isn't that clear in the trailers, and usually these kinds of movies aren't ones that really rely on emotional beats, but the idea of escape from abuse, especially in this context, seems fitting. But I guess we'll see come Friday. Guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment down below of your thoughts and predictions for the film. And until next time, we'll see you at the movies.